If you are still wondering why Lake Como, look at this. Explore and love Lake Como in Italy with me. Extraordinary mix of culture, natural landscape, historical sites, parks with botanical wonders and magnificent villas, fun and sport possibilities. All of these located only about 50 kilometers north of Milan, which make it very easy to reach. It's the deepest lake in Italy, the one with the greatest perimeter extension and the third in terms of surface and volume. Once upon the time, the reason for the lake's success was mainly the stunning villas, beautiful gardens and great artists of the past, who found here a thousand ideas for their works. Popular refugee for the rich and aristocrats since Roman times, it still remains one of the privileged tourist destinations. And then happened that George Clooney came here by chance during a motorcycle ride with some friends from Milan, which is how I told you less than an hour away, deciding that the poetic lake would be the ideal place to rest from the fatigue of the jet set. In a little while he bought two communicating properties, his charming smile did the rest and today Clooney is considered almost a local. Since then Como has been reborn. Da Vinci, Giovanni Boldini, Klimt, Shirley and Magret exhibitions and art and beauty lovers from all around the world start coming more than ever. VIP's watching season start. Once upon a time, Lord Byron, Rossini and Napoleone Bonaparte stayed in the residences such as Villa Plignano in Torno and Villa Sapuriti La Rotonda in Como. Leeds and Stendhal walked in the gardens of Villa Melzi in Bellagio, designed by Canova. From Villa del Balbianello in Lenno, while looking out Manzoni, Silvio Pellico and Giuseppe Mazzini. Now tourists prefer to spot Brad Pitt, Matt Damon, Meryl Streep or Catherine Zeta-Jones. But don't worry, if you don't see any VIPs, there are still so many amazing places and things to see and visit. In Como, you can visit Villa Olmo, the neoclassical building commissioned by the Marquis Innocenzo de Scalchi and inaugurated by Napoleon. You can admire the Duomo with Filippo Giovara's dome and the other monuments of the walled city, which are so many. Outside the walls, however, there are industries, outlets and even a museum dedicated to the famous silk mills of Lake Como. Cernobio, with its small charming restaurants and Villa Pizzo, built between the 15th and 19th centuries. The small romantic Carateurio, Moltrasio and Targenio. The majestic Villa del Balbianello in Lenno with its garden and Villa Carlotta in Tremezzo, a great example of a Lombard Baroque that houses some great works by Antonio Canova. Then Varenna, famous with its romantic promenade and a magnificent park of Villa Monastero, a kingdom of tropical plants and ancient magnolias. Bellagio, a visit is mandatory. Where to start? From Villa Serbelloni with a park and the Italian garden? Or from Villa Melzi with Giovanni Battista Comolis monument to Dante and Beatrice, which inspired Litz many piano sonatas? And what are you gonna say about this? The mountains surrounding the lake. Stunning, isn't it? Full of different hike and bike trails. Amazing, beautiful nature. Lake Como and the water sports. From kite and windsurf to wakeboard and kayaking, or if you prefer a sailing boat, you have the perfect win for having fun all year long. What else are you waiting for? Take the chance and come visiting the beauty of Lake Como. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you can come with us on our next adventure. Bye guys, see you soon!